Today, we're going to review how to install the print driver for the P1102 wireless printer and make it wireless off of a USB connection. What you want to first do once you unpack your machine and turn it on is connect it via the USB cable to a PC. Once it installs, Windows should start the automatic installation. Once Windows has installed the driver file, it'll ask you if it wants to run the file, the .exe file. When you run that, you'll get a pop-up prompt for, to install the HP 1102, and it's going to ask you if you want to configure to print over wireless network or configure to print USB. You want to choose configure to print over the wireless network. So you want to put a, a dot in the radio button on that side and then click next. The software installation will then begin. Uh, this will take a few minutes to go through for it to configure. You will receive a pop-up after the drivers have pre-installed to have the option to either enable direct print or disable direct print. Enable direct printing allows people to print directly from smart devices such as smartphones, tablets, and other devices to this machine via AirPrint or HP's ePrint technology. It is up to you if you would like to enable or disable this feature. In this particular example, we are going to move ahead with this feature enabled. Once the driver is finished installing, HP will request that you disconnect the USB cable from the printer and the PC. After that, you will get a pop-up screen that will ask you to register your product and print an internal test page. I would leave both of these check mark and click next. After you successfully install the driver and print the configuration page to your wireless printer, you will then have a pop-up prompt come up asking if you'd like to set up ePrint. You should select yes to continue if you want to use HP's ePrint capabilities. That is when you assign an email address to this machine and then you can email documents to this printer and it will strip the attachment out of it, JPEGs, PDFs, and certain uh, office documents. We'll strip out of that and then print the main body of the email plus the attachment that was with it wirelessly without needing to open up the attachment and transfer it to a PC. So you can do it from a smart device. If you want to do this, you want to select yes. This will then open up your browser and take you to HP's website. From there, there's a tutorial on HP's website that will show you how to create an account and generate the email address and how to link it back to your PC to perform the printing. The AirPrint option on this machine should already be enabled, so if you look on, your, on an Apple iOS device, when you go to the option to print, this device should now be announcing itself on your local network as a device selectable. That is the wireless feature options on the P1102.